Yo, welcome back to Containing Luxury. On this episode, we're gonna be discussing the installation of the shiplap. Let's get started. Okay, so why don't we start with why we chose shiplap this time instead of drywall. And what we realized on our first build, the 40 foot, and if you haven't watched that, you can check that video out, is uh, that the drywall is probably not gonna travel very well. We kind of knew that in advance, but that container was just gonna kind of be built and used as like our template to kind of figure out like what we did like, what we didn't like. And we realized real quickly, since we're gonna be shipping these things around, that we didn't really wanna use drywall so that there could be stress cracks and when you're driving it down the road and you hit a bump, then you know it's gonna have all different repairs that need to be done when it finally gets to where it's going. So we figured we'll use shiplap on the next one. So on this one, this was our first time using that shiplap and we realized that it's pretty time consuming because there's so many different cuts, but it was relatively quick installing. Now this, if you haven't uh, watched our previous videos, this is actually over the InsoFast system. So the, the stud spacing on those InsoFast studs was, was every 22 inches on center. So, being that these these planks were 12 feet long and, and we could only nail in every 22 inches, if you had to make a splice, you would have, you know, to have one on a stud, then you could potentially end up having a lot of scrap. So we tried to use as long of pieces as possible in here and any time that we did have to cut one, we'd have to land it on a stud, which was kind of a pain, being that they're 22 inches apart. A door is closing behind you, it's a ghost, no, it's the wind. When we installed these though, it's, we, we sat them and we glued, like we, we pretty much glued all these, these panels in. And then we, we shot nails in as few places as possible. So you can kind of see like on this whole thing, I knew I was gonna put a window casing around the window. So I hid most of my nails right here where you don't see them behind this panel. And then on these, rather than shooting two nails through the face, like say I put this one in, and rather than shooting a nail here, which goes through the tongue on the bottom one and pinches that in, and then shoot another here and then put the next piece in, I actually left the top unnailed until I put the next one in. So this nail is the second nail to this board and it actually ties the two together. So one thing, one thing that that's really gonna do is stop you from having to go through and fill a million nail holes throughout all the shiplap because that's pretty t time consuming. And we still have like, we haven't painted the ceiling in here, but you can kind of see there's all these, uh, these nail holes that we had to go through. And one thing that we also used was a, and I'm trying to think if I have it here, I do, but uh, we use a narrow crown stapler. So rather than a brad nailer, which if you're doing your own word work, you probably know what these tools are, but a narrow crown stapler is going to grab that board a lot better than a little nail. Uh, staples just pinches the wood a lot better. So I definitely recommend that you use a narrow crown stapler rather than a brad nailer when installing shiplap because it really grabs a lot better and it doesn't have to penetrate as deep in order to get that grab. So if you have some plumbing lines or electrical lines that are buried within that InsoFast system, then you don't have to shoot as long of a staple as you would with the brad nailer. So that was definitely a little cheat that you could use. Other than that, it went pretty well in here. As you can see, it was a ton of shiplap. So even in this little container, we, I think we used 166 pieces, which is nuts because you have all these little walls and then we have our soffit that we built in here and we've got, you know, the whole ceiling was done, the whole bathroom. So it was quite a bit of, of tongue and groove work or uh, shiplap work inside here. But you, you know, we built all these really cool accents and we, uh, we made all these little, um, you know, fake beams that are in here for our lighting and uh, it turned out pretty well. So I was wondering how it was gonna attach to that InsoFast system and I was worried about them pulling off. So that was really why we went and we went through a ton more glue. We put a ton of glue on every single one and uh, you know, just tried to use as many or as few uh, nails as possible to, to hold them in until that glue dried. But I think it turned out pretty cool. I really love the look. It is quite a bit of work because you know, it's a bunch of little pieces rather than one big piece. Yeah, overall, I'm pretty happy with it. Hopefully you guys are too. So if you've been following along with our build, this is a giveaway shipping container. It's gonna be super nice. So if you wanna see this thing given away, make sure that you help us get to that limit. So we've been, uh, been kind of struggling, to be honest, 
with trying to reach that goal of $20,000. And that's not our channel being like, oh, we wanna raise money to make money because this container, I'll actually do the, the cost video on it pretty soon, but this container's cost me about $25,000 to build. So that means I'm losing $5,000 to give this container away after hitting our goal of $20,000. So currently our channel I think has raised like 750 bucks, which is pretty bad. <laughs> so, but I know that, you know, with 50,000 subscribers, if only 50% of our subscribers gave $1, we would be over our goal. So, you know, we're really reaching out to, to the community to help us reach that goal so we can give this to somebody in need. That's about it. Hopefully you've been following around, along with us and um, we're gonna have another update video coming out. So stay tuned for that one and we'll catch you guys on the next one. Containing luxury, out.